It's a little messy. <laughs> but once again, the wisdom of my good friend, Jeff, this was so easy to build, refurbish this thing to, uh, during Jeff's show that I just did, uh, I basically rebuilt this entire monorail from front to back. Um, I was trying without a veil to get this thing somehow implemented in the um in the train so i was actually going to remove these blue things and I, I ran the wire through and it just wasn't working i'd have to snip every single wire for this length and then the solder on when you play with el wires and try to make them very like they're, 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 you can do it i've done it i made videos about it uh but it's very difficult and i'd have to do it uh 10 times <laughs> so so i can guarantee it would fail because it would just be whatever. So <clears throat> I put these back to normal, but I also strengthened them. I made them better um, by looking at every layer to see how I could like, in, like because Lego is good this way. You can try to figure out how to use two by fours plates and whatever, four by four plates. And um, I even rebuilt the cars in the front, the passenger people in the front. Um, and I'll just bring that over here to show you guys. Before these things would be very flimsy, like they would break a lot because basically the base plates for the, the, the uh, bogies was not connected to the back. It was connected up here and so it would just always come off. Now I got a 4x8 plate right there, all the way through them, right there, all the way through. So now these things are very, very solid. Can't complain about that. I did lose the wings. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Because you might remember that I used to have the wings on here. Because it looked kind of cool. It was one of my first mocks of modifying monorails into my own mocks. And uh, uh, so I had the wing plates there. But I said, I'm going to put these on the on the passenger vehicles to match these guys. So they all match now. <clears throat> and and losing the wings allowed me to put the 4x8 plate all the way through there. And now I just put the 1x4 brick just to kind of just stop this big, huge wall of gray. <clears throat> I didn't figure out how I could get rid of that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm gonna sneeze again. I, I might put a one by uh, one uh, headlight brick here and here um, just to offset it. But right now I think this is good enough. And then I rebuilt this entire enclosure for the uh, motor and added do do greebles and doodads to it. Now, do I like it? Eh, I'm not sold on it, but I'm gonna bring it to the show <laughs> like this uh, and see what happens. Uh, so I'm happy that I got to do this during Jeff's show and Jeff put up with it. Thanks, Jeff. Um, because like I was building while he was talking, <laughs> so, uh, and that's good because less tangents for me during Jeff's Jeff show, because Lord knows when I, when I do a show, Dave go off on tangents. No. <laughs> so now I'm going to clean this up and go to bed. So I, uh, did everything I wanted to do tonight. Um, I had fun building all this stuff and, uh, modifying the stuff. So now I have a better monorail train for level two. Uh, the, the, again, the motor, the motor shrouding is, um, I'm not sold on it, but I can revert it back to the original, but the rest of it, I'm very happy with. It worked out very well. Re, re, re fixing it, rebuilding it, uh, and, uh, modifying it to make it stronger, better, faster. Like we can, we have the technology to rebuild them. Deep cut. Uh, that's it. That's all. Nice quick update. Um, after Jeff's show. So I will talk to you guys soon. By the time you see this video, I will have already run this thing at Anime North and the uh, Niagara Falls Comic Con. <laughs> and I'll give you a heads up after those, how uh, well it went. And that's it. I, I'm going to bed now. Talk to you.